Hello everybody, today I have another puzzle demonstration. This is on the 4x6x8, which is actually a puzzle that I first made a long time ago, but I think I scrapped the video just because of um, how poor the quality was. So now I'm finally getting around to making one, and this is a post-process puzzle. This is made from an MFJS Maylong 8x8 and black 3D printed plastic extensions. And the stickers are made by a friend of mine who um, goes to college at Western Washington University. Taking a look at the stickers, since this is uh, even by even by even, I will check out all sides except red and orange. If I can do it right. There's the checkerboard. And the stickers do look great. So as you could probably tell audibly, it does not have the sushi sound of the three printed plastic extensions because they have all been sanded down. So um, they're sanded smooth and the puzzle effectively sounds like a regular 8x8. In this case, a stickless interior, just because um, they no longer offer the Maylong in black plastic, which is unfortunate. One thing that I really like about this puzzle is how small it is, um, especially for its order. So unfortunately, I left my 3x3 and 5x5 at my Seattle home. I'm back home with the family for the holidays, but I do have a 4x4 here. This is, I don't even know what this is. I'm not going to pretend to know. And as you can see, it's not its not considerably larger than this 4x4. And I think that's great because this I would consider a reasonably high order puzzle. And it's great for traveling and taking on the go. And in general for someone like me, this is a lot easier to manage than some of the larger puzzles. Now, uh, getting more into the turning capabilities, corner cutting is basically the same as any other high order puzzle I make. Consistently a QB across all the layers. Little to no reverse. Um, well, that was more than I would normally do. And of course, the full misalignment, it'll cut through that, no problem. And to better demonstrate that, let me perform a few algorithms. So that was effectively a T-perm. And then the algorithm I always like to do is the adjacent uh, edge setter swap. So this red and blue are going to swap. If I can remember, yeah. And now I'll swap them back. Just for good measure, I can do a opposite setter swap red and orange, and then back again. So yeah, because the puzzle is a lot smaller, I can control it a lot better. So I'm better to perform. It's easier for me to perform algorithms more so than on, say, the 579 or the uh, 6 by 8 by 10 This is a lot better of a size puzzle for me. But the way that I really like to demonstrate the turning quality is by doing a full scramble. So I'm going to do that now. This is an ultimate shape shifter, so I'm first going to scramble it by turning all the layers only in 180 degree increments. I think I might be able to solve this puzzle, but I'm not completely sure. I 
I do know how to solve the ultimate shapeshifters. It's just that the parody is so tedious. I prefer not to do it. Uh, the last stage parody. I would prefer to simply take uh, untightened the size that need to be untightened and do the cheater's technique of removing and replacing pieces. this yet. Let me take care of that. Now the next stage of the scramble is going to be turning these layers only by 180 degrees, and everything else I'm free to turn by 90 degrees. So to get the best scramble, since I solve it like a floppy, I'm going to scramble it like a tower. I found that this does best to mix up the pieces. That's a sufficient tower scramble. Let me grab another photo. And then finally, I'm going to scramble the rest of the puzzle unrestricted. And considering that this is an ultimate shapeshifter, it gets very scrambled. I would say that is a sufficient full scramble. So even in this state, considering how difficult it is to track the pieces, corner cutting capabilities allow me to effectively just turn the puzzle, and pieces will go into their proper places. But yeah, I need to go solve this now before I send this out. But that is my demonstration on the post-process 4x6 bait. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.